Preparing 3D data for consumption in different ways is simple to do in ArcGIS Pro. We start by creating a new scene to contain all the data we want to make available to our different stakeholders. We have textured buildings and bridges that we want to display, as well as some point data sets representing trees and parking garages within our city. These can simply be added to your 3D scene as easily as you would add them to a 2D map, drag and drop, or by using the Add Data tool. We also have a higher resolution ground elevation data set, or DTM. We'd like to use this instead of the Esri default world elevation service because it will provide a more accurate ground surface and will be more useful for visualization and any other analysis we may need to do. Point cloud data can be incredibly large because of detailed graphics and textures, but a really efficient way of sharing 3D data is to use scene layers. Scene layers better enable you to author and visualize large amounts of 3D content and then combine this with other 3D content for visualization and analysis across the ArcGIS platform. Scene layers can be used to stream and distribute LiDAR point clouds, multi-patch feature layers and feature point layers and can be created in ArcGIS Pro. We can start by adding a single point cloud file, a mere 17 million points. By default, point cloud data is styled by elevation, but it's a simple matter to change symbology. For example, we can choose class from the options and ArcGIS Pro will style the data according to feature classes such as ground, vegetation and buildings. The size of the symbol can be changed and the modulate using intensity option shades the points based on intensity values. This can help with both depth perception and perspective when lots of nearby points are the same color. In addition to this, we can adjust the display limit, that's the number of points shown in a view, and the density of those points as well. However, what if, as is usually the case, we have a number of separate LAS or ZLAS files that we want to use as a single file. Well, it's just a matter of using the toolbox to create a LAS dataset. We can choose our input files, which could be LAS format, the source format, or ZLAS files, which is an Esri compression format, and we can specify our output file. When it's done, it's added to ArcGIS Pro ready to be turned into a point cloud scene layer package and shared to ArcGIS online. Our LASD file can be shared more easily by creating a point cloud scene layer package. This is just a matter of specifying the input file, output scene layer package and which attributes to cache. Coordinate systems can be changed and an SLPK file is created. By using the share package geoprocessing tools, we can upload and share our point cloud scene layer to our ArcGIS online portal. This method creates a hosted scene layer as well as the original layer and is all ready to be used in a web scene and shared with our stakeholders.